Hi, I'm Regina Nargis with 21st Century Equipment. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your new S-Series combine for wheat with normal conditions. It is important to have your combine properly set before you begin harvest to maximize your combine's performance. We are going to start at the front of the combine with the feeder house and work our way around clockwise. Start on the right side of the feeder house to adjust the feeder house drum position. Using the black lever above the feeder house bracket, adjust it into the downward position. The same adjustment will need to be done on the left side of the feeder house. To adjust the feeder house chain, the chain is in the 26 tooth sprocket position. Also be sure your tension sprockets are in the proper position. While harvesting wheat, the feed accelerator speed needs to be placed in the high setting. Reference the belt diagram to be sure your feed accelerator speed is in the proper position. To do this, simply release the tension bar, place the belt on the big pulley, and lock the tension bar back into position. For those that are operating an S680 or an S690, make sure that the rethresher is in the small grain position. Next, ensure that the crop diverter is in the small grain setting. Now moving to the left side of the combine, we will adjust the chopper speed. To adjust the chopper speed, you will need a knife or a screwdriver to release the clamp and open the cover. The chopper speed on the new S-Series combines can be adjusted with a simple pull or push of a lever. For wheat harvest, the chopper speed needs to be in the high setting and the lever needs to be pulled all the way out. For winnowing applications, the chopper speed needs to be in the neutral setting or in the middle position. For wheat harvest, make sure that your knife bang engagement is engaged. Make sure that the rotor gearbox is in second gear. For wheat harvest, put your separator grate spacers in storage and use your separator grate covers as needed. It is important to switch out your concave for the small wire type when you are preparing your combine for wheat harvest. Now all the outside physical adjustments have been made to the new S-Series combine. The following settings will be adjusted from the new command arm display and monitor system. Start by adjusting the threshing speed to 750 RPM with a touch of the threshing speed adjustment button. There is the option to use the soft key buttons on the touchscreen monitor or to use the turn dial on the command arm to adjust the RPMs. If the wheat is not completely being threshed, increase the rotor speed up to a maximum of 950 RPM. These settings vary greatly based on the crop conditions. Now to adjust the concave clearance by using the threshing clearance adjustment button. Start out at 8 and adjust to a maximum of 16, making any final adjustments based upon crop conditions. Use a cleaning fan speed adjustment button to set fan speeds starting out at 820 RPMs and adjusting up to 1050. Make any further adjustments based upon the crop conditions. To adjust the chaffer clearance and sieve clearance, there is one button on the command arm to adjust both. Press the button once to adjust your chaffer clearance. Start out at 12 and adjust up to a maximum of 20. Press the button twice to adjust the sieve clearance, starting out at 3 and adjusting up to a maximum of 8 depending upon crop conditions. Make any final adjustments based on the quality of grain entering the bin. The final step to prepare for harvest is to calibrate the combine. In the combine screen, press the B button or press the button with the wrench on it. A list of calibrations will be shown in the drop down box. Select the settings that you would like to calibrate and follow the on screen instructions. Now the combine is all ready and set to go for harvest. For further information, refer to the owner's manual or contact your local 21st Century Equipment dealership. I'm Regina Nargis with 21st Century Equipment, where we are committed to making farming easier for you.